Hey there, I'm Sai, and today we are going to do a quick review of this Park Tool Crank Puller or Crank Remover. And you probably know that you need this tool, and that's why you're watching this video, or you're wondering how to remove a crank and if you need tools or not. And so I've watched tons of demo videos. I tried to remove this crank arm right here by hitting it with a sledgehammer, doing all kinds of different things, and it wouldn't come off. And so I finally decided I was gonna look up a video, figure out what to do, and I figured out there's this tool called the Crank Remover Tool or a Crank Puller. We're gonna go ahead and demo this right here, see if it's good. I did review or look at a bunch of different park, I'm sorry, at a bunch of different crank pullers, and this one was the most highly rated, this Park Tool one, which you can see here. Let's go ahead and take it out of the package, and we're gonna see if it works. But right before we take it out of the package, I just want to explain to you what's happened already here. If you are taking off a crank arm, I, I guess this would be considered a three-piece crank arm. The bottom line is, is you're going to have this particular screw in here, and then over the top of it will be this. So you'll need just a screwdriver just to pop this off. It just pops off nice and easy. And then you're going to need the right tool, maybe a, a half inch or a 14 millimeter like this here, wrench that you can remove this piece with. So that's already removed, but as you can see, we can't pull it off. So let's first go ahead and take this tool out of its container. There you have the tool right here. And these threads right here are gonna go inside the threads here. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you can see what that will look like. And then we're gonna put this in here in order to make it um, remove. And so we will have to make it smaller or bigger depending on what size crank you have. And it's gonna go right in here. And so we're gonna go ahead and zoom in. We're just gonna put it into the threads here. And potentially you could use a crescent wrench, some kind of a wrench that would fit this here, like this. You can tighten it up just like this. The next is, is we're going to turn this clockwise. It's going to basically, if you think righty tighty, we're gonna to have to Tighten it so that it pushes against the pin that the crank arm is over and it's going to pull it out. So we'll go ahead and do that. Just need this right size wrench here real quick. Starting to get easier now. It was really tough for a minute. Starting to move easier now. And now it's coming off real easy. And there you have it. <laughs> the park tool works, which I'm very happy about. Now we won't need the park tool to put the crank back on. We only needed to take it off. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove it from the crank. And it came out pretty easy. This is a universal crank puller. So by that, I'm assuming that the threads here will match with most crank pieces that it has to thread into, like these here. And let's go ahead and put our crank arm, our new crank arm on, new crank arm. Just have to make sure it's parallel with our other arm, but only point in the opposite direction. And we will need our bolt that holds it on and that will crank it nice and tight. We've got a 14 millimeter socket for this particular one. And we're turning it to our right here. I just want to make sure I get it on there nice and tight. All right, and our final step, we just add our cap back on. And I'm going to put the pedal back on, but you don't have to see that part. You know that our Park Tool Crank Puller works, which I'm very happy about. I hope you enjoyed my review of this Park Tool Crank Puller, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.